Next, NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again after months of spouting gibberish. Humanity has made incredible strides in exploring the solar system, with each new discovery leaving us more astonished. For years we thought we had identified all the planets, only to find we were mistaken. But what about the Voyager probes? How far have they traveled beyond our solar system? Even scientists are amazed by the groundbreaking findings these spacecraft have delivered. One of the most intriguing revelations is that our entire solar system, including the far-reaching Oort cloud, which sits about a light year from the sun, exists within a massive bubble. This bubble stretches 1,000 light years across, with the sun positioned close to its center. So, what happened when the Voyager spacecraft reached the edge of the solar system? Are we really inside a vast space bubble? And how does this discovery alter our understanding of the solar system's structure? Let's explore these questions. On September 5, 1977, NASA's Voyager 1 was launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, just weeks after Voyager 2's launch on August 20th. Initially designed for a five-year mission to explore the outer planets, these durable probes have far exceeded expectations continuing to send data back to Earth more than 44 years later as they journey into interstellar space. The Voyager missions took advantage of a rare planetary alignment that happens once every 107 years, enabling the spacecraft to utilize gravitational slingshots to travel from one planet to another, conserving their precious fuel. Even so, the launch of Voyager 2 went ahead, with Voyager 1 becoming the first to reach Jupiter and Saturn, focusing on these planets. Voyager 2, on the other hand, explored Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Over the course of more than a decade, the data transmitted by both Voyagers has revolutionized our understanding of the outer solar system, securing their place in both textbooks and the media. In a distinctive touch, each spacecraft carries a golden record, a time capsule containing Earth sounds and music, meant for potential extraterrestrial civilizations. As of January 2024, Voyager 1 is about 14.9 billion miles from Earth, or 158 times the distance between Earth and the Sun, making it the farthest human-made object from us. Voyager 2 reached a major milestone in November 2018, becoming only the second spacecraft to enter interstellar space, following Voyager 1's entry in August 2012. Voyager 1's departure from the heliosphere, the Sun's vast bubble of charged particles, was confirmed when its plasma wave instrument detected a large solar eruption between April 9th and May 22nd, 2013. The eruption caused nearby electrons to vibrate, revealing that the electron density was much higher outside the heliosphere than within it. This surprising contrast showed that interstellar space is denser than areas near the Sun, while the outer edge of the heliosphere is far less dense than regions closer to Earth. Scientists were able to pinpoint Voyager 1's official entry into interstellar space to August 25, 2012, based on the data from electron oscillation. The study of charged solar particles has provided new insights into our understanding of space. Six years after Voyager 1, Voyager 2 entered interstellar space, confirming the profound scientific importance of these twin spacecraft. The data from both Voyagers reveal many similarities, such as the general density of particles in interstellar space. However, their separate journeys have also uncovered significant differences, raising new questions about the Sun's movement through the galaxy. Outer space continues to surprise us, and Voyager 2's observations as it crossed the heliopause the boundary between the heliosphere and interstellar space, are offering valuable insights into some of the solar system's greatest mysteries. To appreciate the significance of Voyager 2's discoveries, it's important to first understand the dynamic nature of the Sun. The Sun is far from a peaceful ball of light. It is a star, a massive nuclear furnace speeding through the galaxy at roughly 450,000 km per hour. Its surface is a complex network of magnetic fields, which drive the continuous outflow of electrically charged particles, known as the solar wind. This solar wind streams in all directions, carrying the sun's magnetic field across vast distances. Eventually, it encounters the interstellar medium, a region filled with remnants of ancient stellar explosions. 
Like oil and water, the solar wind and interstellar medium interact in distinctive ways. These two forces don't easily mix, creating a boundary known as the heliosphere. This immense bubble, powered by the solar wind, extends about 11 billion miles from the sun, enclosing the sun, all eight planets, and much of the solar system's outer regions. It may seem strange, but it's a peculiar feature that works to our benefit. The heliosphere serves as a protective shield, shielding everything within it, including Earth, from the most harmful radiation in the galaxy. Without it, life on Earth would be exposed to potentially catastrophic dangers. The heliopause, the outermost edge of the heliosphere, marks the boundary between our solar system and interstellar space. Understanding this frontier is crucial for gaining insights into the sun's movement through the galaxy and the environments surrounding other stars across the universe. Scientists are particularly interested in how the solar wind interacts with the interstellar medium at this threshold. The degree of material exchange at the boundary and the dynamics of this cosmic interaction. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause in 2012, it offered the first direct observations of this enigmatic region. However, interpreting the data was challenging. Scientists found that the interstellar magnetic field was two to three times stronger than anticipated, indicating that interstellar particles exert up to ten times more pressure on the heliosphere than previously thought. Although Voyager 1 made important discoveries, its plasma instrument had failed in 1980, leaving gaps in the data. In 2018, Voyager 2 provided a significant breakthrough when its plasma instrument, still operational, enabled scientists to gain a clearer picture of the heliopause. As the spacecraft neared the boundary, it observed the surrounding plasma slowing down, heating up, and becoming denser, offering an unprecedented view of this vital interface. Beyond the heliopause, the interstellar medium was found to be much hotter than expected, with temperatures reaching at least 54,000 degrees Fahrenheit. However, due to the extreme thinness and diffusion of this plasma, the average temperature around the Voyager probes remains extremely low. Voyager 2 confirmed that the heliopause is a porous boundary, allowing particles to flow in both directions. For instance, Voyager 1 detected 10 streams of interstellar particles that penetrated the heliopause, resembling tree roots breaking through rock before fully crossing. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 observed a subtle flow of low-energy particles extending over 100 million kilometers beyond the heliopause. As Voyager 1 neared the boundary, the outgoing solar wind slowed dramatically, creating an eerie, limbo-like state. In contrast, Voyager 2 detected a unique transitional layer in the solar wind, similar in width to the stationary zone seen by Voyager 1. The complexity of the heliosphere underscores the need for more data to fully understand its mysteries. The solar system seems as adaptable as a chameleon, presenting puzzles that require a broader understanding of the heliosphere. Voyager 1 exited the heliosphere's leading edge, where it collided with the interstellar medium, while Voyager 2 left through its left flank. However, we still lack information about the heliosphere's wake, leaving its overall shape uncertain. It could be spherical due to interstellar medium pressure, or it may have a comet-like tail or glass-like shape. Unfortunately, current spacecraft are unlikely to provide the answers. NASA's New Horizons spacecraft, though fast, will run out of power in the 2030s, still over a billion miles short of reaching the heliopause. This limitation has prompted calls for a follow-up interstellar mission a multi-generational effort to explore the farthest reaches of the solar system and beyond. With data from only two points, we cannot fully understand the heliosphere structure. More data is essential. Voyager 1 also made another intriguing discovery beyond the heliopause, a persistent hum. Upon entering interstellar space, the spacecraft's plasma wave instrument detected oscillations in the interstellar gas caused by solar activity. Between these eruptions, the instrument also picked up a faint continuous signal. This low-frequency hum, though faint and monotonous, indicates that the interstellar medium holds more subtle activity than previously thought. By monitoring this hum, scientists are able to more accurately map the distribution of plasma in interstellar space. 
These discoveries offer researchers a deeper understanding of the relationship between the interstellar medium and the sun's solar wind, a continuous flow of charged particles from our star. The Voyager missions have provided invaluable data, yet they also underscore the vast amount still left to explore in the expansive frontier beyond.